This has been increasing incredibly fast. Huh. Doesn't look like we have much leeway here. So these guys prefer brandy and something. So these are moonshine and no other preference. So we do need to sell all our moonshine down there. And I think we can start making the first delivery. Let's load it up. So um, the remaining rotgut, we are going to sell the like half of the Pullman's tequila, something like this. And then we do have the um, spirit lifter. That's uh, batch number three. Now let's not overload them. Let's go with 30-ish liters each and set destination to the forest camp. Is that going via this question mark? I believe it is. And we can't, can we reroute this? Yeah, just, just go like this. This is a big delivery. Don't want to have any interference there. Now, uh, this is annoying. Like when it, uh, yeah, okay. I, I really need to get used to um, using WASD. And then, ah, oh, man, come on, Dra drag that one. There. Okay, now don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. Uh, this is good. John, the driver's driving. Start delivery. Brum, brum. There you go. And 97 delivered. And how are they selling? Ah, that's pretty good. And there we have it. Set up distillation for our shiny. Oof. Okay. Oh, that was that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And <laughs> this will be fun. So we do need at least one tail. So we can't really use that. We could go for this. This requires that. Mm. Yeah, I think I do want to try out the 30% first and see if this one actually is going to be pretty much perfect. It is going to be pretty much perfect. So we do need two jars. So let's reduce that by that. And do need to pull another jar there, the 16%er, and then we can pull another two here. And that's getting it really close. That's not better. So this is, we needed kind of a half jar. Um, but this is looking very solid for a match, and we are ending up at 34. Yeah, good. So old deer stand is level two at very high, so 2.8 or whatever. This one has already increased as well. This is not looking all that great, is it? This seems to be playing a lot faster than I anticipated. Set up the bottling for our shiny. That is going to be fantastic. 30% uh, needed. We can just add or subtract a little bit of ethanol by adding water. And that's looking very nice. 80 mastery points being added to it. I really think this should not be from scratch again. It needs to be saved between acts. Otherwise, you're just gaining hilarious amounts of mastery points. It's too easy to gain mastery points that way. Um, so, yeah, let's um, see where we are at. Let's, let's make this really bang. Best bang for your buck. Best selling speed. Yeah, still making 5,000 bucks of, uh, of profit from this batch. So I'm going to bottle that one. And so John can clean the tank and then we make a new batch as well. So, um, uh, no, wait. First, load the recipe. Do we have anything missing? Do we have anything missing to start making brandies? I think we got everything we need now in the technology tree because we can get the advanced pressing. That's 200. That was the last thing that was that was remaining, right? So, okay, well, now we need to go to the shop and buy everything. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my. Oh my, that's, that's a lot of new stuff. But none of them are watched. Not the new ones, at least. Yeah. Cool, okay. This, we're going to have a field day with this. So, um, apricot. Uh, we do need zem bananas. No, we have bananas. Berries. That sounds good. They are expensive. Cherry. Oh, yeah, cherry. Grapefruit. Hmm. Um, one, one thing that I... The, the little brewing that I have done, together with my wife, was that um, we made ginger beer. And our neighbor had a beautiful grapefruit tree in her garden in New Zealand. 
And that was just such an amazing combination to, to put that in there. It's a, this little, a little bit of a, an extra taste vector in, in that ginger beer. It was beautiful. Um, so anyway, lemon. We did have a very nice lemon drink too. Um, and orange and peach. No, uh, we got all that. We got that and juniper berry. So now we just need to stack up on these. 100 kilograms of each. Yep. Oh, just 4,000. That's fine. Uh, grapefruit is so damn inexpensive. We can go for a little bit more. Maybe 300 kilos. Alright, 6,300. Go big or go home, right? And we go big and go home. So, uh, buy that. Yep. Will do. Now we got everything that we needed in order to um, to start making the, the good stuff. Should we try our first brandy? Yeah, let's go for it. So, uh, what we're going to try and start out with is... Um, let's go with simple stuff, right? Uh, apple. They have not rotted away. We still have 600 kilograms in storage. Well, for apples, that's almost believable, right? Because they, they do keep a long time. But um, my strawberries, I think they have turned blue. White blue by now. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to choose the fermentation apparatus. Manual press. There you go. Ooh. Wait a sec. Can't we craft new things now? We do have an electric press. Should we go with an electric press? Uh, who's going to craft this stuff? Who is busy? George is busy. So let him be busy. And we are going to craft... Oh, he's, there's someone cleaning as well. That was John, right? So, um... George is kind of occupied. And even though he says he's available, we don't want to disturb that. So Stephen and John are going to craft one of those ele them electric presses now. Okay, now they're really busy. Let's see. He has started, he has started as well. And we can pl place both of them. Let's see if we find a nice spot. Somewhere there, maybe. Oh! Oh! Holy shit! Look at this! We got a riding shotgun. You know, this apparatus we got in this special event. Like, how, how large is this? What? Well, <laughs> okay. So, definitely doesn't fit in our little uh, cove there. Maybe we need to set up a, a third... Um, a third place where we want to, to get things done. Down here, that's very far to, to go. Maybe up here. That's still decent. So, riding shotgun right there. That's massive. Yeah. How much does this even... Like, we, we can't... We can't build it, I don't think. Let's see. Uh, crafting. Uh, that is distillation. Riding shotgun is, is like the next tier up. Look, it's far up. There it is. Can't even see its stats. There, okay. It's 220, 230. Okay, uh, well, that's uh, that's pretty impressive. Let's build something around that so that we can have a, a third uh, line of production. So this one has... Uh, Name-wise, okay, bang, bang, yeah, okay. Reflux, zero, power, 30. Is this wood-fired? Okay, we can place an electric press down here still. So let's go with, go with there, and then we can place the other one. Ah, well, <sighs> I guess. Uh, do we want to place it there just to be a little consistent? Where where can we place it? There's only room over there, but do we? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't can't name them, so it would be difficult to tell which one they're going for then. Oh yeah, let's go with one over there. They might have to go towards it from the rear. Uh, you know what? Let's storage this one, the riding shotgun, and place it down. Oh no, it has to be all the way down here. Cross the bridge and over there. That's a long way to carry. But, yeah. Anyway, fine. 
So, new batch, right? So, we remove this one and get to the electric press. Make it perfect right away. A big tank, 100%. Go with the wild yeast and then we are using the riding shotgun. Because that one is supposedly the, the, the best thing ever. And post this... No, we don't have post installation yet. It requires an aging step. We don't have aging steps. Oh, this one doesn't. Okay. Oh, that's good. So, should we should we try that? Something with apples, and uh, we do need a little bit of sweet, and we do need salty. So, if we go with something that is salty, but mainly sweet and a little salt, that would do it, right? It does need a little acrid as well, if I'm reading that right. So, pear, and then... Maybe a hint of plum? Or grapefruit? <laughs> I don't know. So, um, these are all going into the electric press. Grapefruit doesn't seem to be the, doing the job. Maybe it is the berries that we want. Ah, oh, it's getting close. But not quite. We don't want to have... Huh? Yeah, we d no, we do want to have a slight bit of component to it. Ah, it's the plums, right? Yeah, it must be the plums. So that is the... That gets us the main component there. Just a tiny bit of... Um, of bitter. And then we have the major sweet and a little acrid there. So now we just need to find the correct proportions to make that work. Oh, yep. Mm. That, oh, that! There you go! Yes! Yeah, that was it. That was it. So, electric press. We found it! Just a hint of pear and plum. And uh, the rest is apple. And now we have the wild yeast thrown into it. And bottling is the final step. No extra stuff required. 100% match. It's a brandy. It needs 40%. All right, let's create it. And is Steven going to set up the fermentation? Let's see how it works. Well, so far, so good. Um, ooh. Eey. Eey, 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 eey. Okay. Well, um... Do we have a better one there? This one is decent. Uh, just gives a little acrid and some salt. And whoa, no, this is definitely not the one that we want to take. This one might almost be an option, but I think we're just going with the wild blast. So I, and I don't think we do need to add much water here. Like this, this is just 21% sugar. 300 what wow okay the, uh, that that is impressive so how much do we actually need to reduce this by not much like this is 20 percent it can handle right oh no not quite Ah, oh, the wild blast is much worse right we do need to find some of those uh it is pretty much done here though don't need to... We do need 40%. We'll make it tricky to find that tail that we uh, want with just the acrid to reduce this. But it's still a... Let's, let's go there until the last point. I think that's fair. That is amazing r numbers for making a batch of this. Wow. Okay. Didn't quite expect that, but yeah, it makes sense. I mean, this is just pressed fru fruit juice you put in there. And 400 liters of juice requires a lot of fruit. Forest Camp is still selling a fair amount of stuff. Don't get that many new customers or anything. Can make another delivery to there with just different things. This is one, two, three that we have here. So we take number four. Uh, number five and number six and 30 liters each uh, set the destination to there and uh, reroute it again like this and start the delivery with John the driver and here you go forest camp 122 there the Okaleha is ready for its setup. We need to get... Oh, no. 
Oh no, that's looking awful. All the salty stuff is in the in the head and heart. Oh, please. No, there, there we have one. There we have a good one. Yes! At that flame rate, we can pull it out. Unfortunately, not that one. <laughs> um, let's see if it gets even better. No, there's one at 22. But that one was the winner. Definitely. Very close. Ethanol 43. We need 45. Just a little bit of extra and it's perfect. So create that one. Beautiful. And there we have the Okaleha bottling set up. Uh, how much do we need to add? Just like this. Too much alcohol. What? Okay. Uh, there's the match. Yep. Perfect. And best bang for your buck. Fast selling. Let's bottle it up. <laughs> okay, well, I think that is the one that we've discovered, haven't we? Like by experimenting ourselves. We should try another one. Just see if we can make some brandies. We no need no recipe help. We can figure it out with the um, just omniscience of knowing the taste profiles and feeling those <laughs> in, our, in our gut uh, after tasting some of the methanol, I guess. And I thought I had bought so much apple stuff that uh, we, it would last us till the end of the game, basically. That is not the case. <laughs> oh, weird. 300.0 kilograms of bananas, but everything else doesn't have a decimal point. How weird. What a strange bug. Like, really strange. Is that specific to the banana? That it always shows one extra decimal point or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny. I mean, it doesn't matter, but it's just funny. And to to a developer, it is because this is so random, <laughs> such a random bug. But you know what? I think the episode is definitely coming up on uh, time, and uh, this is going to be the perfect cliffhanger. How good can we make this secret new recipe? I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>